Well, I put a bit of a Sharpie mark where I want it, and it's basically in line with the V, and not quite three quarters of an inch in from uh, the edge of the arm there. And as much as I'd like to do them on the mill, I may drill them on the mill, but not the CNC, just because time. I was getting ready to fire up the welder, and I remembered, oh shoot, it'd be a whole lot easier to do these holes now before they're full arms. It appears the vise grabs the drop there at just about the right time to make it uh, fairly level. Now the last one I drilled a pilot hole. This time I think I'm going to just see how it uh, does with this. So, still need some cleanup work. You can see the big ass burn on the backside there. I will uh, do that as a, another step. Ah, see, it doesn't want to catch this one. I'm sure that is just a cheap Harbor Freight Unibit. And yeah, I don't necessarily want it out that far normally. But I also don't want to hit the edge on the chuck there. The top gets deburred by the next step on the Unibur, Unibit. Uh, it's just the bottom side you got to deal with. And there wouldn't be near as much if it hadn't been for the fact that the metal is almost the same thickness as the step. It's a little loud in here, and I don't know if this angle will be all that great, but I'm going to shoot some footage while I'm tacking them together. I want that to sit on there fairly flat, because when I clamp down, I don't want, you know, a spot to twist that. I also want to make sure I'm up against this rail here and down. I don't have to crank it as hard as when I was cutting it with the saw because I'm just tacking it. So I'm going to bring it in here and push down on that to get it flat against that. Then I can take these pieces Push them in there enough just to lightly touch. You just want it to hold. Also want to make sure that because these aren't the front pieces that came with these back pieces, because the whole issue before cutting them wrong, I'm trying to make sure that this is actually centered. This is just a hair wider. So now I'll tack it in a couple of places up top, then flip it over and tack it. it should be okay. 
as you can see there's nothing to hold this keep it rigid so there's no real point in trying to weld it in here shooting for some uh, fusion tacks. 